Hello children I welcome you all in English classroom and today we are going to learn about writing what kind of writing children writing letters children this is very important for you all because in English definitely you will get writing section and I want to tell you the most important thing that letter plays a vital role in English. You will get letters for sure in your examination. That's why before uh, I start chapter number 3, I had taken this topic. Alright children. So shall I start the video now? Okay. Children, do you know what is letter? Let us read the lines written on a slide. A written or printed communication directed to a person or organization. Children, basically a letter is a piece of writing that you send to somebody. Okay? You can say that a letter is a written message conveyed from one person to another person through a medium. Children, besides a means of communication, it stores information. Alright? I hope children, you all have got what is letter. And you must have uh, learnt also in your previous class what is letter. Now you all are in class 8. So I hope this is clear to you all. Let us move further towards our next slide. Classification of letters. Children, two types of letters are there. First is informal letter. Second is formal letters. Let us now read about informal letters. Children, informal letters are the letters which keep us in touch with family and friends. These are usually chatty and informal. Children, basically informal letters we write to our friends, family and our dear ones. So you need not to be worried about the language you use in these letters. Alright. Let us now read the first point on a slide. When we need to communicate a lot of information. Children, when we want to share information of our success. We want to send them birthday invitation, wedding invitation, etc. So, we use informal letters. Now, let us read second point on a slide. When we want to communicate something that is difficult to say face to face. Hmm. Suppose children, if you want to go for a trip or uh, you have got less marks in exam and you are in hostel. Then what will you do? Hmm? You'll feel scared. Isn't it? That if you'll call your father and uh, ask about the trip, then definitely you'll get scoldings. Hmm? Okay. So in this case, what you will do? Go ahead with letter. Hmm? Write a letter. Isn't it? So, this is the use of informal letter. Alright children, now let us read third point. To mark some special occasion. Means, children I have already discussed this point uh, about the special occasions like your victory, uh, your birthday, any wedding invitation wedding ceremony so such kind of things you will write in informal letters okay 
like these are the informal letters the category of informal letters if you are writing letter to your dear ones then it will be informal okay children i hope children this category of letter is clear to you all and uh, let us now move towards our next category of letter that is formal letters children formal letters are letters to people whom we don't know on personal level so children basically it means when we write to a stranger to the person whom we don't know personally for example letter to principal letter to editor if we want to write letter to our boss in workplace so children you need to be very very careful about the language you use in these letters okay whereas you need not to be worry about the language in informals all right so you need to be very careful in these letters okay okay let us read a first point to find out information to apply for a job to make a complaint see children these three are the points means if you want to find out information you will need formal letters if you want to apply for a job see children in about information i have discussed in informals also that if you want to share information need you need informal letters but if you want to find out information formal letters this is the difference if you want to apply for a job then also you need formal letters and if you want to make a complaint about electricity about miss happenings going on in your locality all right so we will go with formal letters i hope children you all are getting okay fine let us move towards our next slide things to remember while writing letter children now we will go with uh, informal letter this time because this is only in their in your course and uh, you need to be very careful children about the format of letters okay means if you are working on formal letters you have to be very very careful about the format whereas if you are working on formal informal letters there also you need to be very careful means this is the very important part the format of letters okay this will add points to your scorecard all right children okay let us see the format of a letter children you uh, have to write the address followed by date salutation the body the subscription and the signature so children you have to write the address first and then later on you have to write the date then the salutation means dear sir dear ma'am like this then body the information you want to share that you will write in the body the subscription subscription means closing okay your sincerely yours lovingly so you will write these kind of subscription means these are the closing and at last where signature is written you have to write your name okay okay now let us move further see children first as i told you this is the address and uh, then followed by date 
then the salutation then the body in which you will write all the information okay and uh, next is the subscription and then your signature all right so this is the uh, sample format okay this is how you have to write and you have to learn this format by heart because this will only increase points in your scorecard right means this will only give you marks okay okay let us move further children you will start a letter by asking recipients well being this can be i hope you are well or how it's going on okay if you are writing a business or the other formal letter get straight to the point i told you children that if you are writing informal letter need not to be worry about the language so in informal letter you can start by asking recipients well being but if you are writing a formal letter then get straight to the point need not to ask about recipients well being all right children let us move further use a complimentary close what is complimentary close children a complimentary close ends your letter on a good note okay like i have written i have given the sample over here for example if you have written a letter to your father then you'll write papa it is a great opportunity for me to go sightseeing and i would not like to miss it i sincerely hope you will allow me to join the party children make two hard returns after the last paragraph okay then write the complimentary close so this will be your complimentary close yours affectionately okay this will be your complimentary close all right so your closing should be on a good note fine okay i hope children uh, this letter is clear to you all format of letter whatever we discussed about letter and uh, this uh, uh, complimentary closing the body the subscription all the things in informal letters i hope children this is clear and uh, we shall meet in the next video with the simple past tense and uh, we'll start chapter number 3 verb expressing the past till then take care of yourself stay home stay safe and we shall meet in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day